Now, next this evening, the family of a 10-year-old boy with autism and other complex behaviour who hasn't been to school for two years say they feel utterly let down. Joshua Lee from Collingham near Weatherby shows traits some experts call pathological demand avoidance. It means that simple everyday requests can lead to a meltdown which makes going to school very challenging. Leeds City Council says they are committed to working in partnership with parents and in the best interests of children. Our health correspondent Jamie Coulson has the story. One minute you can just be acting really, really nice, being really nice, and, and once someone say no, all hell breaks loose. Okay. No. Oh, let's walk to the park now, then. No. We'll do the walk, no. and then on the next one, we'll do the run. No. Ten-year-old Joshua has a diagnosis of autism, but he also displays traits and behaviours that some experts refer to as pathological demand avoidance. It means that everyday demands, like going to school or being told to put a coat on, can cause extreme anxiety. One day you can be loving, caring, um, helping. The next day it can be, you know, ripping things off the wall, you know, smashing things up. It looks like they're doing it on purpose and they're labelled naughty, but they can't help how, how they're feeling. So we've got 25 pence plus 75 pence. Joshua hasn't been in formal education now for two years. And even before that, his learning was disrupted and inconsistent. He was withdrawn from his most recent school after a few days when he tried to scale a fence. The school later admitted they'd been unable to meet his needs, despite having taken account of his education, health and care plan. Now Joshua does most of his learning at the kitchen table with his mum. We have our up days, don't we, on our down days. With demand avoidance, Joshua, um, I will give him a demand and he won't want to do it. And he can't help it, can you, Joshua? Can you help it? I think I... Cannot. We do not believe the partnership provisions are suitable for this pupil as his EHC states that Joshua finds it almost impossible to self-regulate and control his emotional responses. Joshua has recently been refused a place at four schools in the Leeds area, offering specialist provision that were approached by the local authority. A fifth school in North Yorkshire identified by the family will assess him in early March. Lead City Council say they are unable to comment on individual cases, but say they are committed to work in partnership with parents and in the best interests of children. He doesn't belong anywhere. He doesn't fit in anywhere. And then that adds to his stress and his anxiety because, he, he, you know, he, he feels he's got nothing to look forward to. Oh, 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 oh. Local authorities say they strive to help those with special education and disability needs and take the concerns of parents seriously. They say they endeavour to work with families and children to meet their aspirations and outcomes. You start out by thinking, you know, could they be a doctor, would they be a lawyer? And you sort of lower your expectations. It's hard to say what you do. And then you just end up hoping that they're going to be all right, you know? That's all you hope. That's all you want. You want to be happy healthy and live a happy normal life that really is quite an emotional uh, trauma for the family isn't it well our health correspondent jamie coulson talking to the parents there well we talked to helen evans from the pda society and we asked her how hard living with pda can be and how common the problem is pda stands for pathological demand avoidance and and all children will have times when they avoid everyday demands everyday demands like putting your shoes on to go to school but for PDA children doing that, actually, it triggers a, um, a sort of a threat response and anxiety. And it means they aren't able to do that. It's not a question of a, a won't, it's, it's they can't. And uh, that's uh, what, what PDA is. Sadly, it's, it's far too common. Um, from our work with PDA families, we know seven in 10 children are in this position. And we believe firmly that there, there is scope to have PDA children within the education system if people are using PDA friendly strategies to support those children. Uh, so that's something we, we believe is, is really you know, needed and there needs to be more awareness and, and more support because every child should have that right to go to school if, if they want to. 
Helen Evans there from the Pathological uh, Avoidance uh, uh, Society. Thank you.